Hello everyone. So today we will talk about finding a limit of a function using graphical approaches. So from the pre-calculus class, we have learned many different types of functions and their graphs. So such as we learned polynomial functions and the rational functions and the radical functions and exponential functions and logarithm and maybe trigonometry so like this we learn all different kind of function so the polynomial means the graph is kind of continuous function. So it looks like um, this way or parabola and even higher degree then I can generate even more uh, curve here. So these kind of graphs uh, we just call polynomial function. Now the so radical mean, rational means is kind of fraction form. So on the graph, you see now this kind of graph, and then this this graph exists. We have vertical and horizontal asymptote exist basically. You know, sometimes um, the rational function has more than one vertical asymptote. And then potentially, we have always one horizontal asymptote as long as the highest degree of numerator is smaller than or equal to denominator highest degree power. Okay. And now, third one is the radical. The radical, we can also think about two different types. One is even power, such as square root, fourth root, like that. Then it's we, it has starting point and they're going toward that positive or negative direction. Something like that. But, you know, the degree is odd, such as a cubic root and fifth root, like that. Then graph shape becomes continuous function, like that. Okay? Yeah. And the exponential means we have the graph shapes this or this and the logarithm we have the graph looks like um this or this and then there are so many different kind of uh, trigonometry function but if we just bring out the most famous sine and cosine function graphs then looks like this and the cosine means something like that, right? So, like this. So, we learned many different kind of functions and their graphs. Which means, when we talk about the limit, each type of a function will give us different perspectives. Okay? So, I'm going to use a kind of a graphical um, program and they will show uh, three types of graphs such as uh, polynomial, rational, and radical today. Hopefully uh, this first video can cover maybe everything, every uh, graphs, but if I don't want to just spend more than 10 minutes for this video, so if I don't have enough time, then I'm, I can save the rational function and the radical function on the second second video okay so let's think of a polynomial function now okay so go to the GeoGebra program so I just made um so three types of function just to uh, make her ready okay and then I'm gonna just um, put on the graph here okay then there will be the fx equal to x squared minus x minus 3 graph here. 
okay and now I'm gonna make one point which is 2 and negative 1 good and now I'm gonna make another point using the slider and we show to you what if the point the close to the given point A okay so let's look at here so I'm gonna just um, zoom in more so you see uh, point A and B has the gap you see that right okay so far point A is 2 and negative 1 uh, and then point B this is the 1.99 and the negative 1.02999 okay so I'm gonna move in this point toward that A okay look at here what happened so you may look at this graph but also look at this other pair and then look at what is going on so whenever I increase x value then somehow y value also increase I know the absolute value is decreasing but on negative side smaller means larger value okay so now when I go to 1.997 it become negative 1.008991 now I go more then it is even closer to negative 1 okay do you see that now point are really close to each other okay now I'm gonna make a little more zoom in so you can see better and now uh, 1.9988 9, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you see that the value is really close to A here, right? So basically, if it is conflict with A, then the value will be exactly the same as uh, A here, 2 and negative 1. Now, just to put uh, point B on the right side. Okay. Now I'm gonna make it smaller. So so far, point B is 2.0051. Okay. Now I'm gonna make it smaller and smaller. Then Y value also getting smaller and smaller. Right? You see that? look here so don't forget that this negative value so getting bigger which means uh, getting smaller okay so when we approach like a negative 2.009 then it is like a negative 0 0.9972 which means almost negative 1 right so look at here Okay, and then when I when it become exactly two, then also become negative one. Okay, so through here we see how those two uh, three simulation show us, you know, when the another point approach to one of the given point, then it is getting told that the same coordinate value on the polynomial function case. So then now. What is the meaning of the um so how can we say that so we just set up limit x move to two and then x square minus x minus three then become negative one then what does this mean so as you see the graph somehow like that and this is the uh two comma negative one and Whenever you approach from the left side, then it's going up. This point going up on the graph, right? So x go x move to two here. Then this point on the graph moving toward that two here. So on the graph, which means y value. Therefore, so this y value moving toward that, this coordinate. Same thing from 
3 to 2 here. X, when X move to left side, then corresponding Y value moving to where here, which is negative 1. Okay? Yeah. That's how we can define uh, this limit value. Make sense? Okay. So let's continue from the second video.